Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be going over the changes and additions coming to Vigor with update 9.1. So this is our usual mid-season update coming in to mix things up. There are a number of mostly minor changes to the game that hopefully will have a positive impact on the way it plays. But as always, we won't truly know the effects of these changes till we reach the official release, and there may be changes made to the update all the way up until then. So now let's jump right into this update. The first thing I'm going to talk about, and likely the most controversial change of this update, is the weapon balance, and in particular the adjustments made to the bugle. The bugle has had several small nerfs across the board that will build up to a large nerf overall. Its bloom has been slightly increased, but recoil is probably the biggest change with it having noticeably more kick. And then on top of those handling changes, the mag size has dropped from the old 30 rounds down to the real amount of the Famasa's proprietary magazine at 25. So overall the bugle has been drastically changed, and it will likely shift the meta once again. Even after this though, the bugle is still easily an A to S tier gun. It's still definitely better than the M16, and actually I think these tweaks have made it even more usable in auto now than it was before, or at the very least it's more consistent in feeling between the various firing modes. Yes the gun has been nerfed and it's definitely worse than it is in 9.0. But, in the process of nerfing it, it has shifted its purpose in the meta from a long range third person laser to a very competent mid to close range automatic rifle, that above all else, feels properly balanced. Like I said earlier, I'm sure this will be very controversial, but I for one support this change full heartedly. And at the very least, we should see how this shift plays out over the rest of this season. Beyond that, we have a new legacy season, that being season 2 Hunters, showing us that they've decided to go against the voting system, and instead are just going in chronological order. I'm just glad that we have a new legacy season because of course it's more content to grind for, but I feel like the voting system would have been a little bit better for community building. Either way though, it's not that big of a deal. We also have some new loadouts and rewards for shootout, which are always welcome and will hopefully bring some players back to the mode. And on a similar note, there's also a new cosmetic attainable from Elim crates, so that's cool to look forward to. Finally, there's a series of changes made to the UI, primarily the shop is now the second tab from the encounter screen, which admittedly seems a little predatory in marketing, but it doesn't matter that much, and the weapon selection tab is still only one away as well, so it's not really gonna slow anything down. There's also this new cool 3D model viewing screen for weapon skins, so you know, I, I like that and it looks nice, I can survey all my skins before I buy them. Although one piece of criticism I would have for this is that you can't see your existing weapon skins that you own in this screen, which to me is kind of pretty important. So yeah, please devs if you're watching this, uh, that would be awesome. I've also heard some rumors about changes to booby traps, but I haven't seen any concrete info on how they've been changed at all, so expect a community post when we have more info on that. This is all pretty typical for a mid-season update, and it should breathe some life into the game until season 10 comes with more content. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today, I hope you all enjoyed this quick video. This has been Boba Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.